Hello, it's Sean. Today I'm going to be playing a game of Imperial Skies. Uh, this is published by Rotten Lead, uh, Rotten Lead Publishing. Uh, it's a game of airships in the period of around uh, just prior to World War One and thereafter. Uh, I'm going to be taking a scenario from a World War II game that I have. Uh, it's the Battle of Denmark Strait. Uh, it's World War II, but I'm going to convert it to World War One uh, to use it. And really, not even convert it to World War One. I'm going to use it in this made-up World War One. So, in the historic battle, it was the Bismarck versus uh, the Prince Eugen against the HMS Hood and the HMS Prince of Wales. So in my game, I have a, uh, a Mark Graf class battleship and a Carl's Rule destroyer. And then I have a Lori uh, class battleship and a Jean Le Pucelle heavy cruiser. Um, I've set up the table, uh, the hills, the islands don't really have any effect on the game. They're just there to add a little bit of variation to the blue mat. So, uh, for this game, because it's a small game, I'm going to be uh, only giving uh, a D2 command pips to each side. So we'll roll that each time. Um, normally you get a D6 plus one, but we're not going to do that because we've only got two ships per side here. So, uh, scenario, we're just trying to uh, destroy the enemy ships, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, uh, so we're going to roll command pips for the French, and they get two, and command pips for the Germans, they also get two. And we'll assign one to each ship here. So we're going to roll for initiative, see who gets to go first. Neither is using uh, any command pips for initiative. So here's the French and the German. That's cocked. All right, looks like the German are getting the first activation. And let's see, how far away are we? We're over 20, but we're not over 30. So right now, only the long guns are going to get to work. Alrighty. Alright, so our current speed, he has a 7, he has an 8. He's going to turn into these guys a little bit. Two. And he is going to open up, he's going to shoot at the uh, Jean Lapicelle, probably saying that wrong. So we're still over 20, so only his long guns are going to be in. He has 14 large guns. We're going to need sixes to hit on these. Looks like I got two hits. We're going to use the command token for out guns, or excuse me, out pipes, which lets him reroll two misses. And both still missed. 
But these two sixes get to re-roll, so exploding dice, and one more hit, which will get a re-roll as well. Alright, so just three hits. Alright, so it's the French turn to activate. They're going to activate the Lori here. And Lori has a speed of 8. Gonna go forward four. And right now it's front arc is facing the enemy, so it feels like it needs to get turned a little bit, so get a broadside. It looks like is not uh, yeah that will be enough to bring him into broadside so just got quite a bit closer so we're gonna get probably some more shots on this guy yeah, yeah we're within 20 now so the lorry gets all of its attacks excuse me all of its large and the medium. It needs five to hit on the large guns, which are the red dice, and six is to hit on the medium, which is the orange dice. Oof. Several sixes here. That's going to use his command action point for outpipe, so let's reroll two misses. Another six. Alright, looks like I have four sixes with the large and two with the medium gun, so we'll reroll those. Another hit with the medium, and that's it. But that's pretty good. So it looks like I've got nine hits on the marks graph. And now it is the Carl's Rule turn. So he's going to want to get closer as well. He's going to have to move of eight. So there's two. And he'll move straight forward six. Now. Got to get him in my broadside, otherwise. have a hard time having enough dice to do anything. There we go. And over 10, it's within 20. So we've got six medium guns and one large gun. We need five or six on the large and six is on the medium. So it looks like we got three hits and one six on the medium. So just three hits.
and then I'm gonna re-roll. Uses out pipes and re-roll two of the misses on the mediums. They need sixes, nothing. Worth a shot though. Uh, the Jean LePicel turn to activate, move seven. Forward four. And it looks like all of his are in the front arc. So That's going to reduce his die in half, but he's still got some to go. He's going to shoot the Mark Graf as well. So, medium range. So normally we'd have seven medium, so cut in half to three. Excuse me, I'm looking at the wrong ship. He has six medium, cut in half to three. He normally has eleven large, and that'll be cut in half to five. So the large guns will need a five or a six, the medium will need a six. Uh, looks like we got a couple hits here. One on the medium, two on the large, and there are some sixes there. All of them are sixes, so they get a reroll. And no additional hits, so three hits. Um, and he's going to use his command action point to do the outpipes. And no hits. Alright, that's the end of the round. We're going to roll command action points for the next turn. Two for the French. One for the Germans. All right, let's see here. Now we're gonna do initiative. Here's the French, they get a three, and the Germans got a five. So the Germans get the first activation, which is very good for them. Here. Mark's graph is minus two speed right now, so his speed is five. Um, I think he is going to fire on the Jean LaPicelle. He has a better chance of doing damage to it. I mean, it's the same to hit either way, um, but it's a smaller ship, so he wants to get it out of the fight. So it's within medium range. So. Uh, let's see, minus two guns, we have five medium guns, and twelve large guns. Five or six on the large guns. Hmm. He's actually going to use his command action to try to do some uh, uh, 
uh, repairs on his ship, so he gets to heal D3 points, so he gets to heal 2, which brings him to a minus 1 instead, so he'll get an extra die. So he'll have 6, medium, and 13 large guns. So here's his roll. Not bad. We got two hits with mediums and sixes, five hits with the large guns, and three sixes. So we're going to reroll for those sixes. And no additional hits. So seven total hits. French turn to activate. Not sure which ship I want to go with. I think we're going to do with the Jean Lupicelle. We're at minus one speed, minus one guns. And it's just going to go straight. So, speed is six right now. And he is going to fire on the Mark's Draft. So we have five medium guns. And ten large guns. Need five on the red, six on the orange. Three hits on the orange. One hit on the red. He's going to use his command action for the outpipes to get to reroll two misses. And no additional hits for that. But we do have sixes to hit, so those get to be rerolled. Uh oh. Huh. Two additional hits. And no, there. So, you got six hits on the Mark's Graph. And now the Carl's Rule will activate. Has no damage right now. He's going to try to get within 10 of that John LaFacelle so he can have a good chance of doing some damage. Just outside of 10 right now. So that's three. Got a nice broadside on that one. About seven inches apart. So he gets to bring all of his guns to bear. So that is five small, six medium, and one large. He doesn't have any command action points, so he can't get the bonus dice, so it rerolls. Uh, so he needs four on the five, or on four on the red, fives on the orange, and sixes on the yellow. Not the best rolling, but not too shabby. 
We got a couple of sixes, so we'll be able to re-roll those. And another six on the yellow. No. So it looks like five points of damage. Brings the who sell down to seven points of haul remaining. And now it is the Lori's turn again. The Mark Graf is pretty well beat up at this point. So I think the uh, Lori is going to try to focus on him. No adjustments. So I can get within 10. And still give him a broadside. Oops, so we're going to go three. And then forward five. Forward four and then turn. And that. Yeah, that'll put him on the broad side. Alright, so he is going to pump fire into Mark's graph. And um, now we're within 10, so he gets to bring all of his guns to bear. So he has 6 small, 8 medium, 12 large. Six is on the yellows, one hit. Five is on the orange, two hits, with two sixes. And four is on the red, five hits, and one six. So we're going to reroll those sixes. He's going to use this actually first. And his outpipes. Maybe one more hit. Alright, so we're going to reroll the sixes now. See if we can get some more damage. And yes, we do. So more sixes, so we're going to roll them. Uh oh. Alright, so that's one more. So three sixes in a row gives 2d6 damage. So right now, we're sitting on. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 damage, and then 2d6 for the, uh, the three sixes in a row. There's another five. So he has got 15 points remaining, so he is down. That's going to uh, blow his uh, magazine, and that's going to take the ship out of action. So, this poor little Carl's rule is all that's left. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and do command action point. Here's for the French. They get one. The Germans also get one. Neither of them are going to use it for initiative. Actually, the French are going to use theirs for initiative. So here's the French with a 6, and the Germans with a 4, so the French will get the first activation. They're going to activate their Lori first. Lori is going to fire first, which should, well, maybe. It does a good chance to do an awful lot of damage to this little ship. And he's nice and close, it's going to be easy to hit him. 
So six small, eight medium, and 12 large. So sixes on the yellow dice, there's one. Fives on the orange, there is one. And fours on the red. Wow. Eight, three sixes. So we're going to re-roll the sixes. Got two extra hits. And he is going to use this to batten down the hatches or brace for impact. So forcing reroll of four hits. And all those missed. So reducing the damage taken down to eight. You cannot fire this turn, however. Uh, he is, however, going to try to get out of here. He's going to book it and run from these guys. So his, he's not going to do any firing, which he can't do anyway, so he is going to uh, move at one and a half his speed. With the damage he's taking, he's minus one, so his speed is seven. So he gets half again as much, so he'll be moving at ten and a half. And he's just going to go straight. Ten and a half. And hopefully he can get out of here. So, the Pucelle's turn to activate, he is going to come about, his speed is reduced to 5 currently, so he's not turning real fast. But that will put this guy in his broadside, so he will fire at him. He is over short range and medium, so won't be able to bring all of his guns to bear. So he's nine large and four medium. Losing two. I've already taken the two off for the damage. So here's his attacks. That was a six. All right, so he has three sixes on the red and one six on the orange, so re-rolling those. Ouch. Another six, another hit. So eight hits on this guy. Uh-oh. That brings him down to just two whole points left. So he is Hurtin', hurtin', hurtin'. So let's do command actions. Uh, for the Germans, they get two, and the French get two as well. Initiative. We're gonna use one for the Germans for initiative, and they're not gonna use it. So here's the French. They got a one. The Germans win no matter what, because they use the one for the uh, initiative. So they win. He is going to use uh, one of those command action points to stoke the fire. So he gets an additional three, additional three inches of movement, 
He's actually pretty beat up right now. So, he's only moving at the base speed of 6. He's going to not fire any guns so he can move at half again his speed. And I'm going to say that the half again comes before the stoke the fires. So he'll move 9. So 6 and half again is 9. And then he gets another 3 for his... Uh, Stoking the fires, so that gives him 12 inches. And let's see if these guys can kill him before he gets out of here. I think they might be able to, but we'll see. Alright, so we're going to activate the lorry first. Speed is 8, actually. They're going to use their command action point to come about, so they get to use a one tighter uh, turn marker. Make it a little bit easier to get turned around. There's four. So we're about 23, so only the long range guns are going to be able to fire here. But we got quite a few of them. So, Lori's got 12 long guns. Needing sixes to hit. This guy's only got two points of damage remaining. Oh, geez. Three, four, five, five sixes. And they get a reroll. He sunk already. Why not? Alright. Seven. That's going to drop him below. So he's going to be crippled and sinking. Uh, I think the uh, French had a little bit of advantage here. With uh, This is only a, it's a large destroyer, but it's just a destroyer versus that uh, second ship for them of the... Uh, Heavy cruiser. I need to paint up some more ships so I have a little bit better variety here. Uh, but it was a fun game. Uh, I, I like the Imperial Skies rules. Uh, it's an enjoyable game. I like these models. They're fun to paint and they look nice on the table. So it's fun playing these smaller battles. Uh, you know, these are World War II scenario uh, that I'm using with the uh, World War One alternative history ships, but basically it's just giving me uh, something to, to set up for the table and uh, a little bit of a center area to play through. So, it's fun. I'm having a good time with it. I plan to play this game more. Uh, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this and all the different projects that I work on, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, comments, or saw anything I got wrong, any rules I got wrong, please put them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.